Hello guys, welcome back to the software testing tips and tricks channel. So in this video, we'll talk about bias and fairness testing in AI model. So we first we will go through the real life examples and then we will talk about how to do the testing and tools we are, that can help in that. Also like uh, in 2025, when you are testing the AI models, the biasness of the uh, model is very important and it may can do more controversy over other things. So let's start with the real life examples first. So this is very interesting example that I came across and uh, first is like uh, what happened in 2018 Amazon has created one AI powered hiring tool to screen the job application. So what it used to do is it just scan the resumes and uh, from that it gives score to the resume and based on that uh, they prefer like if uh, this candidate is good or not. So now the issue was like it was trained with the past resumes and in past resumes mostly there were more uh, past resumes were mostly from male candidates or the women's so the data was biased so whenever a woman applies for the job when uh, it downgrades the resume that contains word women so for example women's chess club women's sports so those kind of thing it uh, treat as downgraded and it will downgrade the resume so what the impact happens is that AI system automatically favored male applicants over the female applicants. So this was the bias issue with the hiring system. Same happened in healthcare. So in 2019, the healthcare started using in US hospitals started using AI, and uh, healthcare detects that like if this patient needed advanced treatment or not. So based on the data that uh, got treated on AI got uh, trained on right. Those data had more white patients over the black patients. So whenever the black patients come, it thinks like it this guy doesn't need uh, advanced treatment because in their database they had uh, more white patients. So it prefers white patients more than the black patients. So many black patients were denied access to advanced treatments because of this. So this happened uh, like cause issue in the real life. And third one in banking and loan sector. So what happened is like uh, again Apple has a card scandal they have created AI model to give the score and uh, based on the data it was giving more credit card score credit limit to the male than the woman even though husband and wife has a joint account right <laughs> still male got uh, higher limit than the woman. So these are the partiality that AI can cause and it can impact in the real world as well. So what we need to do as a tester, we should test this biasness and raise this the issues and we need to fix it uh, as a team to get uh, away from the it. So whatever the models we are using should not be biased. Let's test in the current models only like okay, let's go to Twitter and try to test Grok and let's this is the Grok 3 version and let's ask like uh, imagine uh, CEO of the company let's uh, can you draw image of this so we are asking uh, Grok to draw the image of the CEO so let's see like if it is bias or not so if you ask 10 times it should uh, draw for male as well and for female as well but whenever i tried that for my experience i always get male ceos only so that means that uh, data it got trained on has more male ceos than female and that's why it is always drawing male ceos you need to specify uh, please draw female ceo again like if you uh, ask like uh, draw image of person writing with left hand so indian prime minister uh, already uh, told this like if you are ask uh, to ai tools to draw image with left hand it always draw with the right hand because it is was trained on this so let's see even though you don't specify left hand like you ask like draw image uh, person of writing or person doing the sketches right it will or it should go with right hand as well as left hand like there should not be any biasness but see here even though i ask for left hand it is always uh, drawing with right hand and uh, if uh, left hand community may get uh, offended with it i am not sure but this is uh, 
uh, not proper and we can say this model is biased towards right handed people so this is how it's it working so this is a real example live example with group 3 uh, now let's start with our slide so bias and fairness testing in ai models so why ai bias matters a model can make unfair decisions that what we talk with the real life examples right it was making unfair decisions and it was causing issues in the real life as well and it is impacting the society so that's why we should always test unfair uh, biasness of the model testers must ensure fairness in the system and we went through this real world example already now what cause ai bias like why this is going ai bias so as i already told this is bias training data so whenever they use the training data if they have data was biased it always use uh, give bias decision so if data is more male or female it uh, bias toward the male if data is more right-handed people or left-handed people it will bias toward the right-handed people so this is what happens uh, algorithmic bias so sometimes the algorithm used which is incorrect and maybe biasness labeling bias so labels they use may be biased toward the uh, other labels and deployment bias so whenever that they have deployed based on the region and all things it may get biased around that so these are the cause of ai biasness how to detect ai bias so this is uh, for testers like uh, disparate impact analysis so we need to do impact analysis on first statistical partiality difference so we need to find the statistics statistics of the partiality and we need to see like this is the actual difference we are getting equalize odds and calibration so sometimes like some odds happen like 10 times 5 times uh, it works fine but 2 times some odds happen so we need to equalize that odds and we can use these tools F AIF 360 fair learn google what if tools so there are many tools available which test the biasness of the ai so we should use that i will create uh, other video for these tools currently we will see like uh, these are the tools uh, you can use to test the biasness of the model now this code example of testing the bias so here like if you have uh, watched the previous video to see f1 score so we have similar kind of uh, code here and uh, based on the outcome we get we provide one and zero for sample model predictions and uh, this is the column and we apply this uh, fairness matrix a demographic partiality difference uh, for from the fair learn so the, here the tool i used is fair learn so we need to pass that and it will give the difference like uh, this is partiality difference of this much so if like in 10 occasional 8 times it pick male and 2 times it pick female so based on the data it will calculate this partiality difference and it give it so you need to try to minimize this difference so you can directly implement in the python only you need to just download this fair learn matrix library and you can put some example like this this is for i think uh, <coughs> uh, This is like boolean classification algorithm only so you can use for uh, if you have more uh, access you can uh, use for separately and then find the difference over that. So how to migrate AI bias so this is like uh, for the models uh, who are training the models uh, data scientists and AI tools uh, who are uh, uh, managing that or implementing it. So first we need to do is improve data collection use pre-processing and post-processing bias fixes and adjust model algorithms so in algorithm if some biasness happening we need to adjust accordingly even the prompt we are providing or if you are using third party tools you are providing prompt and those things you need to make sure like it is uh, not biased or it is fixing biasness problems in pre-processing and post-processing also you need to check like if there is some biasness uh, you need to fix it accordingly and based on the training data is very crucial so you need to keep training with uh, data that is not biased what is the conclusion and next step so we in the real life world examples we already told, learned that ai bias can cause harm in the real world life and uh, test ai fairness using tools like fair learn and ai of 360 we have these tools we have and we can get the fairness score on that and also you want more AI testing tutorials please subscribe this channel and like this video and share it 
uh, also don't forget to follow us in the social media links are given in the description and please comment anything if you think like uh, this is very important and also you can provide the feedback always so thank you